This is the world's largest Nintendo Switch collection, and that is probably a lie. I looked online to see if anyone had a bigger collection, and they were definitely comparable. But this is a thousand. This is a thousand Switch games, which is still pretty good. I've always wanted to do a big Switch collection video ever since my first one, which was like four or five years ago. So I'm gonna go through everything and I'm gonna film it all and you're gonna see everything I own on Switch. Also, my friend Kip is recording the video. That was a great job, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. That's why I have him here, he's a hype man. <laughs> Where should I start? Like if you wanted to know what was in my collection. I wanna start from the left. That okay. is literally how my brain works. At the very top, right at the top. every Nintendo Switch console. I've made a video about this already where I had a lot of them and then I just ended up buying the rest of them in the video. The Animal Crossing Switch, the Dragon Quest one, which only came out in Japan and I have a vlog of me in Japan trying to find it and I did, there it is. The Monster Hunter Switches, Splatoon, the most recent Happy Holidays Pokemon one that I found. The Kirby one, which is just a Kirby box. It's not actually anything special. Fortnite, Diablo. That's what I thought was the rarest Nintendo Switch for a while, the Disney Disney Tsum Tsum Switch. But then I found this guy. My favorite thing in my collection. This is the Thunderbolt Project by Fragment and Pokemon Nintendo Switch. It's an official Nintendo Switch collab and it's Pokemon and a clothing company called Fragment. They only made 500 of these and sold them at a pop-up in Japan. I have a video of me buying this, so this is already public knowledge, but I had to pay $3,000. To get that. Okay, so if there's anything in this room that I should steal, I would go. This is probably the. I would go for that. Yeah. If my house started to burn down and I'd already taken care of my yeah. family. Mysteriously. I, <laughs> <laughs> I would grab that and then file a claim against Kip. Apparently. <laughs> oh, the 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 light. I always forget the light exists. I never really cared to get all the colors of that. Maybe one day. I just don't really want to get into it. Both the Pokemon limited editions, because those are actually cool. And then just the blue one that I got. I have only ever played one game on the light. I played Link's Awakening all the way through on it and then said, that's good. I'll go back to regular Switch now. Oh, sorry. I got to do this collection video, but it's taking so long. It's also lunchtime. So I also have to eat this delicious factor meal in front of me, because as you guys know, I have a lot of things in my collection, but the one thing I can't live without down here in my basement is my big old box of Factor. So let me take you on a tour of this. This big box got shipped straight to my door with fresh, never frozen meals inside. I actually microwaved this one for this sponsor read and it looks awesome. It's a herbed Greek chicken and tomato penne. It, it's beautiful. The holiday season is already crazy busy. Don't make it any more complicated by having to cook a bunch. Also, we're going into the new year. It's time to start resolutions. Factor has keto options, calorie smart, protein plus, veggie. I always go for the calorie smart and this one, this is only 500 calories for this whole thing. There's no mess, no fuss. You can microwave it in two minutes. And they also have smoothies like strawberry and mango, but this time they sent me chocolate banana protein shakes. They love me. I don't know if I can say it, but that kind of tastes like Bailey's. <laughs> it's so good. I can't believe how good all of this tastes. And the fact that it just shows up at my door and takes no time to start eating is insane. Head to factor75.com or use the link below and use beat em ups 50 to get 50% off your first box on Factor. That's half off of your food. All right, let me show you the rest of my games. Okay, so I did a rough count of all my Switch games. I included all these loose ones and then all the collector's editions that I have. It was like 727 I came to. On my channel, I've reviewed over 300 eShop games and I've bought way more than that. So if you count my digital library, we're definitely at over a thousand, but physical, it's only 700. I gotta get my numbers up, I know. 520, actually. I just did a quick check to see how many games I could re-download right now on my account. And that's that's just on this American Nintendo account. I also have an Australian, a Japanese, even a Mexican account. Most of my digital games are on this account though. You plus this 520 with the 720-ish physical, 1,240-ish Switch games that I have. So the ones on the wall are games that I've either finished, I have no interest in playing. In this bin are the games that I either really wanna play and can't find time to, like Harvest Stellar is still 
Steel Sealed, Tony Hawk. I wanted to play that on Switch. So in this bin, it's just a bunch of games I'm still looking forward to playing. And I don't want to put them in the collection because then I'll completely forget. And then just over here are my staple games, Dragon Quest, Super Mario, Animal Crossing, Smash, Dead Cells. The Switch games that stay near my computer are the ones that I'm actually currently playing. Mario RPG, which just came out. Oh. Oh, look at that guy. Okay, that in the comment section. So this is the Darksiders War Master Edition. When this originally released a couple of years into the Switch's lifespan, they released it with a black spine and they weren't allowed to. And uh, Nintendo yelled at them and they changed it back to red pretty quickly. I think that's really cool as far as little Easter eggs and just basic normal games. I forgot about this actually. I talked about Has Been Heroes as I was looking through my collection. This is one of the first third party releases on Switch. And I mean, look how different different that spine is. I'm sure I could Google this and look this up, but that has to be a rule, right? There's no reason for every other game to have just a normal spine in line with everything else. This has to be a rule by Nintendo that you can't have different text. Has to be red, has to be the white text. So this is probably also the same situation as Darksiders where they had to re-release the game with a regular spine. I should probably point out an exception to the black spine rule. The Labo also does that even has different fun. I think that gets a pass one because it's Nintendo so they can make their own rules but also because these are never sold separately or seen on a shelf usually. They're in the labor kits. Mine aren't because I'm lazy and I haven't put them back in. This is still one of my favorite games in general but also favorite Japanese games. They put the image sideways and at least out of all the 700 something Switch games that I have none other has done that. A lot of people got really upset in my Japanese Japanese video that I didn't know this was Fist of the North Star and not Jojo. Some people called me a uh, fake gamer. I just don't really watch anime and I definitely haven't seen either of these animes. Tell me that doesn't look like a Jojo character based on the limited knowledge I have on Jojo, which is nothing. Yeah, that's all my Japanese stuff. Every time I've gone to Japan, I've been so excited to get home and try out the games I just bought. I never do. I still haven't played any of them. Scoot's calling me. Oh, you're just walking down the street? I just got a haircut. Oh, it's Kip, the wrestler guy. The cameraman guy. <laughs> the cameraman guy. The cameraman right. guy today. The guy, not the wrestling guy. No, no, no. Your hair looks great, buddy. You look like Big Al. You're wearing the Big Al's t-shirt. I know, I know, I know. I did it to myself. I realized what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep filming my video now, buddy, but I love you. Okay, I love you too. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. That was the best outfit choice of all time. <laughs> oh, you're Big Al. He goes... <laughs> For a while, when Limited Run first started doing Switch releases, I wanted to get every single Limited Run game. To begin with, every single one they released was awesome. I think Thimbleweed was the first one that they did, and I couldn't get enough. Every time they brought out a Limited Run game, I was like, yes, that's exactly the kind of game I want physical. So from here all the way to here are Limited Run single issues. And then literally all of this, other than that guy, all of this, all of this, all of this, some of that, if not all of that, is all Limited Run collector's editions. But Limited Run just kind of went off the rails for me at some point. I'd start looking on the website at what they were doing next and I wouldn't I wouldn't recognize the game. I realized it was getting out of control. Some of the coolest things from Limited Run, I think, is the Shredder's Revenge, which was pretty recent. This Scott Pilgrim one, which is literally a briefcase. You'll also probably hate me because pretty much all my stuff is sealed. There's a good reason for that. These games generally hit the eShop. I love them, I buy them, I play them. And then they're like, oh, we're gonna make a physical. I'm like, cool. I'm gonna buy it, but I've played it, so why not keep it sealed? There's something in my heart about keeping something sealed and knowing it's more valuable that I'm like, why break the seal if I don't have to? I agree. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not alone. No, I'm exactly the same. So pretty much all of this limited run stuff is sealed. I don't think I've opened a single limited run thing. The Monkey Island anthology is for PC because there was no Switch version of that, but this is one of my favorite things they've done. Bug Fables is cool. Fury is one of my favorites. The Golf Story trophy is so sick and it was so good. This was one of the early eShop indie games to get such a cool physical and it was showing love to that game made me so happy. So every limited run game comes with a trading card. I think it's random what trading card you get. They have a few different ones for each game. I don't really know what to do with them so I just sit them on the shelf behind the Switch games. Other than limited run, there's another company I love called Super Rare Games and that's all of these ones. I would love that they number them too and you'll have to forgive me people with OCD because they are completely out of order. I I ironically have number one up to number 69. 
Hey! <laughs> I stopped there, I said, that's good. No, actually I moved from Texas and Super Rare is so nice, they always send me the games for free because I used to work with them directly and announce their games on my channel. They didn't know I moved. So for the last year and a half, someone at my old address has been getting a lot of free games. They're actually sending me a package right now because I realized that was happening when I thought about making this video and they're gonna send me some things that I missed. I'm currently showing all of my Switch games one by one with one hand while my puppy bites the crap out of my arm in the other hand. So what you're seeing here is me holding up every single one of my Switch games and this took forever to film. We're gonna have to speed it up really quickly so that you just get the idea and you can slow down the footage if you wanna actually see what I have. I figured this would be the best way of doing this rather than have a three hour long video of me going, and this is one horse game and this is another horse game. You can see my whole collection here and I think that's the best way to document everything. But uh, yeah, I hope you are enjoying the video. Fun fact about this one, it ended up getting pulled from shelves because the game was making Nintendo Switches overheat. Also, there was a whole controversy around this game that the reason why it was overheating your Switch is because it was crypto mining. I still don't really know how all that worked, but either way, the game was just bad and badly optimized and would make Switches overheat. This game, Friday the 13th, I actually liked it quite a bit, but uh, they shut down all the servers for it now, so this is a paperweight at this point. So this is a beat-em-ups Capcom collection, which I thought was cool because, well, probably shouldn't have to say it. And then this is Rockman 11, which is Mega Man in Japan, if you didn't know. I did not. Learning with words. One of my favorite things about Switch collector's editions are they're all in these same kind of boxes, which are really nice. They're a really awkward size. I wish I had a shelf that fit them, but like the Fire Emblem ones and the Metroid Dread ones, they look so cool in this big book box. The online controllers, I bought all of those, although the Super Nintendo ones are missing. I looked everywhere for them. I don't know where they went. I have two of those, but uh -huh. they're not yours. I, I just, wasn't accusing, but now you see. I just very want to remind. Sus. Yeah. They Next time you come my... around, I don't want you to think that I stole them. <laughs> but like they might be now. No. There's my Satisfy grip, and as well as my U2s. That thing's amazing, by the way. I got everyone in the locker room to hold this. Oh really? Everyone who, loved who it. Who held it? Can't tell you. Okay. Oh, this is actually more limited run stuff over here. I really like these ones a lot. The Castlevania and Doom Shadow Boxes are so sick. And then Transistor is one of my favorite games made by the same people that did Hades. It was their game before that. That sits right front and center. Hollow Knight, Ori, Hollow Knight again. I want those to be seen on camera. I also really loved Little Dragon's Cafe, even though it was kind of buggy. It was cute and Kim and I had a lot of fun with it. And this collector's edition thing comes with a little stuffed dragon in it. I don't know. I just find that adorable. I like these long ones that mostly Platinum Games does. But there's a Xenoblade one, which isn't Platinum Games. One of my favorite games, believe it or not. A lot of people don't know that about me because they think I hate all Xenoblade. Astral Chain, this one is sick. I love the game, but tell me that this doesn't look sick. And then over here, there's Bayonetta Climax Edition. <laughs> and uh, Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Fun fact about this Bayonetta Climax edition, when it first came out, it was the only way to get the first game on its own as a physical. I don't think I've ever opened this until now, and if I have, I've forgotten about it, but all of the art is different. Whoa, that's so cool. So these are cool, and Octopath, one of the earliest big box collector's editions we got for Switch. This was one of the coolest collector's editions too, because it comes with a full pop-up book. I I wish more collector's editions did really fun, unique things like that. Also Celeste, I didn't point that one out. And Undertale with the heart coin in there. This is my very sad and pathetic Zelda section in my entire house right now. If you remember what my old game room looked like in Texas, I had this big Zelda shrine. All of that is still in boxes right now since I moved because I wanted to do that bigger and better here. It never happened and all I have here is all the Zelda collector's editions, including the Age of Calamity one. I'm guessing it was Japan only since that's the only one that I have. That was one of the first collector's editions I ever got, the Sonic Mania one. I actually just got this. This isn't even Switch related. I apparently ordered this almost a year and a half ago. Completely forgot and then it showed up today, but it is sick. It is. It is actually awesome. All my Labo, Ring Fit, Cuphead, Damon X Machina, Collector's Edition. That was actually from a New York vlog I did on the channel. I want to do like a Joy-Con display at some point. Right now they're sat on here. And then I have some like Etsy things that I've bought or people have sent. I love these Kirby's. The Gooigi is for me. The Gooigi is awesome. I like the way this looks on the side, but these are actually both Kim and my wristbands from uh, Nintendo oh. World. Yoshi and Luigi. Also, there's no more heroes right here. So these are no more 
Cowboy Heroes 1 and 2 from Limited Run. And what I really like about these two, they actually magnetically, oh, look at that. They magnetically go together and make one big image. Limited Run has done some really cool things with their physical collector's edition releases. I found this actually while I was cleaning. This is Kim's very first Switch. I don't know where mine is at this point. I know that these are my original Joy-Cons because we made this in a video on the channel where I drilled into my hand. But this was Kim's original one, which you can tell because of how covered in snot it is. Pokemon Company themselves sent me this. It's like a jeans Pikachu. It's like jeans fabric. They also sent me this one one this year for Christmas. Oh, that's so sick. My friends at Devolver Digital have sent me a lot of cool things for the collection over the years, including a little Cult of the Lamb. This guy, out of all of the weird accessories I've looked at, is probably still one of my favorites. It's a slime controller from Dragon Quest. The bottom of it is a controller. It's incredibly awkward to hold. The triggers are on the back of his skull. I got it in Japan, and I love it a lot. It's another fun and wacky controller. It's Densha Dego's train controller stick. You just drive a train. It's such an elaborate controller for one game. I wanted to talk about this controller. It's the Nerf controller for Nintendo Switch, made by Nerf. The back of the controller is Nerf material. I love it so much. It's actually a really comfortable controller. I know this says $90 on it. I don't know who is paying that for Among Us. This was on sale at my GameStop for five bucks, so I got it. <laughs> I bought Among Us. I was thinking about this today, actually, because I just put up a video on the Lenovo Legion Go, which I got for free. I also bought one. But I've been thinking about how cool it is that I turned my hobby and my love into my career because I bought 99% of this stuff, don't get me wrong. But the fact that I work in this now and people send me things that relate to my love and my interests, handheld consoles or trinkets from some of the games that I love, and I have relationship and connections with companies like Devolver Digital and now Pokemon Company. Company. Couldn't imagine wanting to do anything else in my life. I'm so thankful for everything that got me to the point where I could own a collection like this. Tearing out behind the camera. <laughs> I think that's it. At some point, I'd like to do a full game room tour. I don't feel like it's done. I guess there's the Amiibos. This is a scattered mess. That's why I need more room. I was also trying to have every Amiibo for a while and then ended up just wanting the ones that I liked. The only thing worth noting here as far as like rare, I have two of these Emmys accidentally. And then I found out one day that one of them is a rare one. There's a misprint on the back. One says Metroid Return of Samus and the other one says Metroid Samus Returns, which is the actual one name of the game. Oh wait, it's not that one. I lied about everything. It's this. Metroid Return of Samus. I have two of these. Good job, man. I have two of those. Good job. All right, I honestly think that's it. That's my current Switch collection, everything that I own. What am I missing? What should I buy? Let me know down below. Thank you, Kip, for helping me film. I appreciate yes, it. go me. Awesome, thank you so much. I want to do a skit with you, but in case I don't, here's you and my tree. I was going to bring this out. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. That young guy. This is my bathroom. I've been in here before. Look at that. That's my toilet. A yeah, nice toilet. Any any hidden switch things in here? Hey, just ah, like... there it is. Oh, See? <laughs> this counts. <laughs> Look at that. We was vlogging together. Nice shirt. Hi, us. All right. Well, just like my channel. <laughs> Damn the shitter. <laughs>